Shri Lakshanam, Shri Lakshanam, Ratna, Kanjam, Kandaram, Ammana, Lakshmiya, Vana, Malaya Chitam, Nidrar Pankaja Kalitavaye, Yogeshwara Stapita Pada Pavam, Yogeshwara Stapita Pada Pallavam, Sri Lakshmanam Kostubaratna Kandaram, Sri Lakshmanam Kostubaratna Kandaram, Ammana Lakshmiya Vana Malaya Chitam, Anidrarit Pankaja Karnaka Vaye Anidrarit Pankaja Karnaka Vaye Yogeshwara Stapita Pada Pallavam Yogeshwara Stapita Pada Pallavam Shri Lakshman Shri Lakshanam Kostuba Ratna Kandaram Sri Lakshmana Kostuba Ratna Kandaram Amlana Lakshmiya Vana Malaya Chitam Amlana Lakshmiya Vana Malaya Chitam Unidrarit Pankaja Karna Kalaya Unidrarit Pankaja Karni Kalaya Yogeshwara Stapita Pada Pallavam Yogeshwara Stapita Pada Pallavam Sri Lakshanam Kostubaratna Kandaram Sri Lakshanam Kostubaratna Kandaram Amlana Lakshmiya Vanamalaya Chitam Amlana Lakshmiya Vanamalaya Chitam Unitrahit Pankaja Karnikale Unitrahit Pankaja Karnikale Yogeshwara Stapita Pada Pallavam Yogeshwara Stapita Pada Pallavam Sri Lakshanam Kaustubarat Nakandharam Sri Lakshanam Kaustubarat Nakandharam Amalana Lakshmiya Vanamala Yachitam Amalana Lakshmiya Vanamala Yachitam Unitra Hrit Pankaja Karnikalaye Unitra Hrit Pankaja Karnikalaye Yogeshwara Stapita Pada Pallavam Yogeshwara Stapita Pada Pallavam Sri Lakshanam Kaustubarat Nakandaram Sri Lakshanam Kaustubarat Nakandaram Amlana Lakshmiya Vanamala Yachitam Amlana Lakshmiya Vanamala Yachitam Unitrahi Pankajakar Nikalai Yogeshwara Stapita Pada Pallavam Sri Lakshanam Kaustubaratna Kandaram Amlana Lakshmiya Vanamala Yachitam Anidra, Anidra, Blumi, Blumi, Ritz, Ritz, Arts, Arts, Ankaja, Ankaja, Lotus Flower, Lotus Flower, Karnika, Karnika, Malaye, Malaye. On the surface of the, on the, on the surface of the world, on the surface of the world. Yoga Ishwara, Yoga Ishwara, the great mystics, the great mystics, Astapa, Astapita, Astapita, place, place, 
has lotus feet. Indi kembali terlebih dahulu dia, Bhagawan, orang itu turun orang itu turun. Jadi ada anggur ada yang lebih penting ke mana kita pergi. Orang itu turun pun orang pergi ke mana saja. Orang itu pergi. And those who are great mistakes, the great yogis, then they meditate on that form of the Lord, and the Lord's lotus feet are in their heart. Yogi itu sering terlibat yogi itu Bhagawan dia, the guru pun arah mata mata orang ini turun ke mana guru itu mana sih orang itu. And sometimes people are confused how to recognize the form of the Lord because in Vaikuntha, all the inhabitants of Vaikuntha have four-armed forms and they're all looking like the Lord. Everybody looks like the Lord. They have, the, they have Sarupya Muk liberation. Sarupya means they get liberated into a form just like the form of the Lord. So people sometimes are confused who is the Lord because they all look alike. They're all liberated souls. They have spiritual bodies. But there are some distinguishing features you can tell who is the Supreme Personality of Godhead and who is just an ordinary, humble, liberated devotee. I think one of the features by which we can recognize the Lord is he has this Kastuba jewel around his neck. So on that Kastuba jewel, there's a form of a calf engraved there on the But they say it could also be that it's the goddess of fortune. So Lord Krishna he has special affection for cows. That's why he decorates himself with that ornament, like this Kastuba gem. Because the cow is there on it, and Lord Krishna likes very much the cows. Just like we like cows, you can see we've got cows here. We decorate our temple with the cows, the forms of cows, and on the altar we have cows as well. And one day you will have real cows. We are just preparing for the real cows. So, it's this kind also that there's other jewels on the shoulders of the Lord. And he's decorated with fresh flowers. It's important that when we offer the flower to the Lord, they should be fresh. They shouldn't be all withered and old. They have to be fresh. One time, Rapa came to the temple in Canada 
and he thought that they were putting flowers on the deities, but the flowers were not fresh, they were all withered. When the flower is fresh, then they have a nice smell, and they look very attractive. But when they're not fresh, they don't look attractive. And that, that creates problems for the door. And then, uh, If the flower is not fresh, then the flower, of course, it doesn't have a long life. So when you get the flowers, you want to use them quickly. Of course, we put the flowers in the refrigerator and try to preserve them, <laughs> to keep them more fresh. <laughs> So in the purport, Prabhupada mentioned, he said, these flowers and the different ornaments which are all decorating the body of Lord Krishna, that they are all identical with the body of Krishna, meaning they're not material, they're spiritual. I said, none of them are made of material ingredients. If they were material, then we wouldn't be able to put them on the body of the Lord. Everything in relation to Krishna is spiritual. Just like you put the metal bar in the fire, the metal bar will become hot and red like the fire. And if you leave it in the fire long enough, it will burn. It will take on the nature of the fire. So the same way, the flowers and the ornaments which are put on the body of Lord Krishna, they also become spiritual. And Prabhupada taught us everything in relation to Krishna is spiritual. And that's why you don't put things on the floor. Right? The cartels here, Madanga, round, round the neck, different things we have for the deities. But we're not responsible to pay for all these things. Rather, we can live without all these things, we just need to chant Hare Krishna. Without chanting Hare Krishna, then everything is meaningless. So we have to understand how Krishna can purify, He can make everything transcendental, spiritual just by connecting everything in the service of Krishna. That is yoga. That's why we practice yoga. Yoga means to connect, to link. So we are doing bhakti yoga. Connecting by devotion, we're connecting to Lord Krishna, 
and by connecting to Krishna, then we're free of all the karma. And so is, so is, so is, uh, so is uh, other devotee. So we, we like to uh, meditate on the form of Krishna, we like to remember his wonderful qualities. Of course, we, we never, we don't have the eyes to see him because our eyes have not been purified by the love of God yet. But if we go on serving and hearing and chanting, one day we will see Krishna. So Krishna consciousness is uh, based on this principle of doing service and that whatever we do, we do it for Krishna and in that way it becomes Krishna eyes. Just like you plug the fan into the electricity, it connects to the power station, you get the electric current. Without the electricity, the fan is useless. It's just a, a useless object sitting there, it doesn't do anything. But it, it, uh, it comes to life when it's connected properly. In the same way, these flowers and the ornaments and the jewelry, they're just meaningless, but when they're connected to Krishna, when they're put on the body of Krishna, then they're, that is their perfection. So this is Krishna consciousness movement is meant for spiritualizing everything, bringing it to the service of Krishna. Okay, are there any questions? When we are chanting, we need to remember Krishna's form or we must uh, meditate with the sound vibration of When you are chanting, the most important thing is to hear the sound of the mantra. You have to use the ears to hear. So chanting, you move the lips and the tongue to chant and you use the ears to hear. So we hear the mantra, we do mantra meditation. We hear the sound of the mantra. So the process is hearing and chanting. We, we chant and we have to hear also. We don't listen to the mind. It's not the mind, but you use the tongue and the ears. Um, 
மனதில் என்ன நினைக்க பிரச்சனை இல்லை உங்களுடைய வாயால் உச்சரிக்கக்கூடிய மந்திரத்தை காதல தெளிவாக கேட்க வேண்டும் அதுதான் முக்கியம் This, our spirit soul is in the heart. We are all souls, right? And we are all situated in the heart. And we have to clean the heart. So the sound of the mantra has to enter into your heart. And then we then you clean the heart of all the dirty things, all the anathas, the dirty things, the lust and the envy and the anger and the greed. You get rid of it all by hearing the sound of the mantra. So, so chanting, this is how our spiritual life begins. The chanting comes by the, the, the spiritual life, our spiritual consciousness awakens through the sound vibration. Then sound vibration comes from the spiritual world. We say, Go Lokera Prima Dana Harinam Sankirtan. The holy name descends from Goloka. And it appears when we chant purely, the holy name appears on our tongue, and the sun vibration enters to our heart. So this this chanting is the process for the Kali Yuga, for awakening our consciousness, our pure consciousness. You have to hear very carefully. So are you chanting? Opportunity, we just put it in the garden. 
put it in the garden and then that way it goes back to the earth. So we have our garden here. We can put there, keep the flowers which are offered to Krishna. We don't put them with the other garbage because they're spiritual. So we put it back to the back to the earth. <laughs>
இப்படி நம்மளுடைய புலங்கள் அனைத்துமே பகவான் சொன்னத்தை ஈடுபடுத்தி தூய்மைப்படுத்திக் கொள்ளலாம் இதுதான் இந்த கிருஷ்ணமூர்த்